Hi, my name is Katie, and this is Advanced Concept Presentation 4, where we're going to be talking about the different steps um, within the citric acid cycle um, from pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. Um, so most fuel mole molecules enter the citric acid cycle as acetyl-CoA. As we know, pyruvate is the end point of gly the glycolic pathway, and under aerobic conditions, pyruvate is transported to the mitochondria. This is where the energy is created. So first, the link between glycolysis and the citric acid cycle is the oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate from acetyl-CoA. In eukaryotes, this reaction and those of the cycle take place inside the mitochondria in contrast with glycolysis, which takes place in the cytoplasm. So the enzyme complex catalyzing this reaction, the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, consists of three distinct enzyme activities, and I'll be breaking those down here. Um, the reaction requires um, the participation of these three enzymes. So in the complex, we have pyruvate dehydrogenase, dihydrolipotransactylase, and dihydrolipotransactylase dehydrogenase. Sorry, these are the first time I'm saying them out loud, as well as five coenzymes. So the coenzymes that will be um, part of these processes are thiamine pyrophosphate, TPP is what it'll be noted as in my structures, lipoic acid, and flavin adenine dinucleotide, or FAD as it's commonly known as. Um, serve as catalytic coenzymes and coenzyme A or CoA and ni nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide NAD+, as I typically call it, are sto stoichiometric coenzymes. <laughs> catalytic coenzymes, like enzymes, are not permanently altered by participation in this reaction. Um, so these coenzymes function as substrates. So our first uh, process here, uh, the decarboxylation. Pyruvate combines with the ionized carbon carbon ion form of the um, form of TPP and then decarboxylated to yield hydroxyethyl TPP. So I went through this. This is the carbo decarboxylation here, inevitably backwards, but we'll be starting here. We have the TPP, and then we end up with our hydroxyl ethyl TPP. So this is our end product here. So this reaction, um, the rate limiting step in the synthesis of acetyl-CoA is catalyzed by um, E1, which is the, the enzyme one, which is the pyruvate dehydrogenase component of the multi-enzyme complex. Um, TPP is the coenzyme of the pyruvate dehydrogenase component. Um, next, we're going to go to oxidation. So this is the next step. There's going to be four steps. Well, three are the main ones, but then there's a fourth step so that the process can continue. But we have oxidation. Again, I know it's going to be backwards here, but um, we start here, and then we have our TPP, and then we follow through here, and we have acetyl poem, poemamide, mide, sorry, poemide. All right, so in oxidation, um, the hydroxyl group is attached to TPP. It's oxidized to form an acetyl group while being simultaneously transferred to lipoamide, a derivative of lipoic acid. Um, this transfer results in the formation of an energy-rich triester bond. All right, so next we're going to be doing um, the formation of acetyl coenzyme A. So that's the third step here. Um, the acetyl group is transferred from acetyl poamide to coenzyme A to form acetyl CoA. Uh, dry dihydrolipolotransacetylase, which is our enzyme 2, catalyzes the reaction. The energy rich thios triester bond is preserved as the acetyl group that is transferred to coenzyme A. Acetyl-CoA is the fuel for the citric acid cycle and has now been generated from pyruvate. So this is technically the last step, um, formation of acetyl-CoA for the citric acid cycle.
All right, so you can see the beginning here. I know it's backwards. This is going to be our product here. Um, but the thing is we have dihydrolipoamide and we wanna be able to make sure this um, reaction can keep going so that we can utilize pyruvate in the citric acid cycle. So um, pyruvic dehydrogenase complex can't complete another catalytic cycle until the dihydrolipoamide is oxidized to lipomide in a fourth step. So this is technically the last step because it creates the cycle again. Um, the oxidized form of lipoamide is gener regenerated from the dihydrol Dihydrolipolyl dehydrogenase E3, enzyme 3, two electrons are transferred to an FAD prosthetic group of the enzyme and then to NAD. So I have that written out here. I have the product, so at the bottom here, we have the acid going into NAD. All right, so that'll allow the cycle to happen all over again. Um, and then it can go into the citric acid cycle. So this is how the acetyl coas are harvested. Um, we're using those enzymes and yeah, that is the end of the presentation. Those are the main steps that have that cycle to go. Thank you.